She is a really hard worker. We call her a grinder. Because she really puts her all into everything that she does. Once she gets something in her head, she continues to work at it and work at it until she achieves her goal. Growing up, I had a perfectly fine time breathing. And then around eighth grade, I would run up and down the court and just not even be able to make it up and down because I would be so out of breath. Turning red and you know sweating and clearly couldn't move at her normal speed. Like you were watching her hit this wall. Maybe she has exercise-induced asthma, so we started going down that road. I would use my inhaler before every game, but it really didn't do anything. The tightness in my chest, the breathing heavy, that was all still there. It was just frustrating and discouraging, and I would just want to give up almost. When Maya came to see me, she was very, very concerned, not only afraid that she was not going to be able to play her sport, but was very concerned about what was happening with her health. He had her do examination in which he put a camera through her nose down to watch her vocal cords. This is her voice box, these are the vocal cords, and this is the space that we have for breathing. Every time Mai is taking a breath in, the vocal cords are closing and making a very small opening for air to go through. Dr. Milstein said it was exercise-induced laryngeal obstruction. In EILO, it is more difficult to breathe in, not out. The problem is not in the lungs, the problem is in the throat. Honestly, it just gave me hope. This is refreshing, like reassuring. Something can be done about this. It was a lot of noises that you had to make, breathing in and out and putting your hand on your stomach to feel how your lungs fill with air and how you exhale the air. Then we have them get up and try to do the exercises, walking, then jogging, then running. You would watch her progress from week to week, being able to do more and more challenging activities while keeping her vocal cords open. It was magical. It was so crazy to me. When I started running up and down the court, it just felt like I was back. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to have times when we struggle and we don't have the answers and we look to others. For me, I was so very proud of her in being able to face this and continuing to face this. There was a lot of times where I wanted to give up. No, you got this, just push through.